Hey guys, how are you? It's me, Lauren. I have a message, a couple downloads that I wanted to share with you guys today. I've been getting these really sporadic downloads lately that don't entirely make sense on their own. And it's taking a little bit of time for like the other pieces of the puzzle to come together and, and make sense for me. And I think that's probably very indicative of just like the collective energy right now. I looked at my computer and um, one of like the URLs says like forward slash undefined. I think that's how we've all been feeling a little bit undefined. So I keep hearing plot holes and potholes, which sounds sort of funny, but I also kept receiving the message about toe holds uh, like a week or so ago, um, and it came up as a word of the day, and I knew it was really significant. So a toe hold is basically like this tiny little spot that you wedge your foot in um, so you can like stabilize and push off of when you're climbing a mountain. And I think that, I think all of us have been trying to climb some mountain or another, but I get this visual of us sort of like at a plateau where you're climbing a mountain, there's like a little bit of a ledge and you can sort of sit on it and catch your breath for a while um, but at the same time there's also this feeling of imminent danger because one you know you have to keep climbing but also like there's a part of you that kind of feels like maybe I should just hop over the ledge I should just quit I should just quit my pursuit of this thing right just feeling really tired and really discouraged so the toehold is coming forward as sort of this spot or this position in which you know, you can kind of hoist yourself back up because there is this big collective message about like the climb isn't over. Like there, the peak of the mountain that you've been wanting to get to, whatever that means for you, it's still available and it's still obtainable. But it is very clear that like a lot of us have been feeling a little rough around the edges and like there is a need for a little bit of a boost. Now a toehold also means a, a relatively insignificant position that leads to further progress and that brings me into the plot holes and the potholes we're in scorpio season we're you know getting very close to Samhain and halloween the veil is very thin there's an increase in spiritual messages i'm sure that your dreams have been crazy my dreams have been off the charts in you know 50 shades of freaky um and so with that it feels like there are revelations these aha moments of oh that's what the problem was oh that's where i went wrong that's what the issue is oh i didn't realize that was affecting that ah light bulb light bulb light bulb light there's all these light bulb moments right it's kind of filling in the blanks of how things sort of transpired over the last six months a year three years for you guys um which is good it's filling in those plot holes for you but now we're moving over to potholes some of those realizations are things that were not maybe learned or tended to or realized like at the time that maybe they should have but there were other pressing matters so the way that this toehold is coming in it's a relatively insignificant position from which further progress can be made the way i'm interpreting this is that you guys may start getting these downloads about things that are important for you to do and they may be things that you have to go back and do or go back and finish because they weren't done previously and in your mind you might be going why does this matter like how does this affect anything like why is there such an emphasis on me doing this right now it feels insignificant to you but you don't realize that it's sort of this pothole that was left unfilled it's a pot what happens with a pothole have you ever tried to walk over a pothole you might fall you might trip ride uh, you know your bicycle and you don't notice a pothole or you try and drive over one it's probably going to pop your tire it's these things that feel insignificant they don't feel like they matter but they actually leave like these little booby traps around that are like really easy to get caught up in for example as you know i love using myself as this example in these readings my car my car has been so long overdue for inspection i can't even tell you and i have a variety of reasons why i didn't get my car inspected some of them are legitimate and some of them are not legitimate but i had a dream last night very vivid dream about cars and i woke up and i said today's the friggin day so i went to get my car inspected and i failed 
and I was not pleased about that. Um, I was not pleased about it. But I realized the reason why I failed is because in the summer, my car died and I had to buy a new battery and it was very expensive and I wasn't pleased about it. But when I got my new bat, and this is just helpful life advice because I didn't know this, but I didn't know that when you get a new battery, you have to take it on the highway in order to get your highway miles in. The reason that my car failed inspection today is because since I got my new battery, I've only done local driving. I haven't gotten my car over like 55 miles per hour for any significant amount of time. And that changes the reading on your battery on your engine something like that and so the guy was very nice at the place um and he said don't worry about it go enjoy your weekend go get on the highway hop on the parkway and just drive back and forth for a little while come back early next week you'll be good okay now in my mind i'm like why is there such an emphasis on like me getting my car inspected it's not that big of a deal yes it's important right it is important legally but you know in general like why is there such an emphasis and i'm realizing you know well like your car is really symbolic lauren right what does it do it's your transportation it gets you from point a to point b and if your car isn't in inspected you could get pulled over if you know your if your battery hasn't hit any highway miles you're gonna fail right so like symbolically and practically it felt like something that like wasn't that big of a deal i'm like why does this have like an importance to it why does it have some big impact on my life in comparison to this mountain why does my honda civic matter when we're looking at mount everest that i am trying to climb right now and it's because it's a toehold it's this thing that seems insignificant but it leads to further progress right so obviously it's a message about me attending more to like my personal life and these very mundane things that oftentimes i push to the side because they don't feel as important to me as the universe right it's a me thing, but it's just an example, right? So you may find yourself being really pushed and pulled to go back and review some notes or get your car fixed or clean out something or do any of these little small sort of minute things that don't feel important to you, but actually will act as potholes, right? There are things that you could get tripped up in. There are things that may be symbolic in a way. They seem small, but they lead to further progress. Once I finally get my car inspected and passed, it will be stress off of my shoulders, right? All of these things. So as I said before, you guys have been in the pursuit of healing. You've been in the pursuit of a dream, of a goal. Like, you, we all have mountains to climb, you know? It's like a friggin' Miley Cyrus song. We all have mountains to climb. Um, and there's, life has been life in. It's been really difficult for not just me, but, for like, for all of us. And so we've been kind of sitting on the edge, you know? Um, and I think sitting on that ledge, that edge in sort of this mountainside is also really symbolic of the hesitation to take like another full moment, another leap of faith. And Jupiter has just moved back into Pisces. It's been out of it for a while, but it moved back into Pisces and it will stay that way until December. And that transit is really about love. It's really about faith. It's really about trust. So as you're sitting on this ledge, looking up at the mountain, feeling the pull, the push to like, get back at it, take a leap of faith, try and trust the cosmic universe again, right? As you're doing that, just notice if there are little potholes that need to get filled, that need to get plugged up, even if they feel mundane and boring and insignificant. And how does that play into the bigger picture? It almost doesn't matter because it does, whether it's literal or whether it's symbolic, it does play into the bigger picture. And again, some of these aha, these light bulb moments, these plot holes being filled up will maybe show ways in the past where we haven't always done our due diligence or we haven't always tended some of those smaller things that do accumulate into big things eventually. And after we kind of plug up some of those potholes and get the revelation of these, you know, um, Pl uh, plot holes so many fucking holes um uh, just like it's so you know but as soon as we plug up these pot holes and as soon as we get these revelations for these plot holes and make a decision just feel like it's a decision to step into a greater level of faith and trust it does feel like we are going to have the enthusiasm um, and the faith required to finish the climb because there also is this feeling of being like really close to the finish line and there's sort of this like 
don't give up now it's like you wanted this so bad you wanted this so you work for it you prayed for it and sooner or later we all eat shit sometimes you know it's like we all hit some gravel but you can still it's still obtainable it's right there so if we can just plug up the rest of this stuff have these realizations tap back into faith Oh, we're actually going to be able to get up there to the top of the mountain and you'll have that sweet, sweet sense of satisfaction. Very good. Very good. So that's what that's what I have today. That's my that's my download for you. I love you so much. I really hope that this was helpful for you and encouraging. And if you needed it, I hope that I found you today. Until next time, I love you and take care of yourself. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.